Hi, I'm Hani. And I'm Amanda. And we're going to help you prepare for your TCS World Travel Expedition by sharing our essential tips on packing for success. Here's the most important thing to remember when packing. Less is more. Your itinerary involves traveling to many destinations. The less you bring with you, the less time you'll spend packing and unpacking. Which means more time to enjoy the incredible experiences that await you and more room in your luggage for all of the little treasures you want to bring home. Remember, laundry service is available along the way, and if you pack just the right items that work together, you'll look and feel great. So, let's get started. For your journey, you're allowed one large checked bag of your own and one small wheeled suitcase, we call it the wheelie, which we will provide at least one month prior to the expedition. The weight limit for these bags may vary by trip, but your guest services manager can tell you what that will be for your expedition. These bags will be stored in the cargo hold during flights and you won't have access to them between destinations. So keep essential items like medications with you in your carry-on. Both your large bag and the wheelie will be placed in the hold during flight. In addition to your checked bags, you'll be allowed to bring two hand-carried items onto the plane. One backpack, which we will provide, and your own small personal bag. All hand-carried items must fit in the overhead bin or in the ottoman in front of your seat, depending on the configuration of your plane. I like to think of my big bag as my closet and my wheelie as my bag of the moment. On some trips, you might only have your wheelie bag for one or two destinations, so you'll pack what you need for those nights in it. For your checked bags, we recommend you use packing cubes. These are great tools to help you stay organized and save space. Here's a pro tip on how to pack and organize for your trip that works perfectly. Start with your large checked bag and pack everything you'll need into just that bag. Then empty a third of it out and put those items into your smaller bag. This way, you'll have plenty of room for the special gifts we give you along the way and the souvenirs we know you're going to want to bring home. And it's always fun to buy some clothes along the way, so leave some room. Speaking of clothes. So what to wear on the trip of a lifetime? We'll send you a checklist with more specifics, but here are some general guidelines. Choose a single color scheme you can mix or match with. It's a simple less is more approach that makes it easy for you to decide what to bring. Dress casually and prepared for adventure. Lightweight, quick dry activewear that can be easily layered or removed will keep you comfortable throughout the day. Layers look lovely. You might start out on a cool morning with a moisture wicking shirt and a light jacket or fleece, depending on the weather. As the day warms up, you can easily remove and store your layers in your backpack. Then, as evening approaches, you can put the fleece or jacket back on. Let's do a breakdown on the exact quantities of clothing we suggest you bring for touring. But don't worry about taking notes. We'll be sending this to you in a checklist. For daily touring and casual dinners, three pairs of long, lightweight pants, two pairs of shorts and a long skirt for women, one sweater or fleece, and one lightweight rain jacket. Four short sleeve shirts, either wicking type tees and button downs or polos with at least one in a light neutral color. One long sleeve shirt, some people like to buy the kind that is treated with insect repellent. Two casual tees or polos, one week of underwear, one week of socks of varying thicknesses from dressy to active. A swimsuit is essential. And if you enjoy working out, Lightweight layers, stretchable knits, and moisture-wicking technical fabrics are recommended. Optional vest with lots of pockets and a couple of scarves for warmth. For festive dinners, we want you to dress however makes you feel the most comfortable, but some people do like to spip it up a bit for our occasional festive dinners. Men sometimes bring a pair of slacks or khakis and a couple of nicer shirts and maybe even a lightweight blazer. Women often bring a neutral dress or two, or slacks and nicer tops that can be changed up with different scarves or other accessories that they buy along the way. Sometimes a cardigan is nice in case it's cooler. And a small purse with a strap comes in handy at the pre-dinner cocktail parties. Don't worry about rewearing an outfit or two. When you're jet-setting between spectacular destinations around the world, no one will notice. 
If your itinerary includes religious sites, such as temples or mosques, be advised that in some cases, it may be customary or even required to cover your legs and shoulders to enter. Short skirts, shorts, tank tops, and other items of revealing clothing are not culturally appropriate to wear within these sites. This goes for men and women and is a great opportunity to invest in a pair of convertible zip-off pants. We women also have the option of wearing a comfortable sundress that covers the knees and covering our shoulders with a pretty scarf while at the site. The one thing we hear most from our guests about packing for an adventure this big is wishing they'd brought less. And some of our most well-traveled guests don't even use their full luggage allowance. Let's keep moving. Once you step off our luxury private jet, it's essential to have the right footwear to keep you comfortable. Pack two pairs of walking shoes, like sneakers or hiking shoes. Make sure they have good tread, and most importantly, break them in at home for at least a couple of weeks beforehand, using the same socks you're planning to travel with. Never bring a pair of shoes you've never worn. You should also pack one pair of slightly dressier shoes, such as loafers or flats. Sandals or low-heeled shoe for ladies are fine, but stay away from high heels because you might have to walk over uneven terrain. And don't forget your sport sandals or flip-flops for hitting the beach or hotel pools. Even on board our luxury private jets, there are some things that can make your journey even more pleasant. At your seat, you'll find an amenity kit, which will have some handy things you might need in flight like moisturizing lotion, and dental hygiene items. Unless you prefer a particular brand of shampoo, conditioner, or lotion, we suggest leaving those items at home as you'll find them at most, if not all, our hotels. Keep in mind that we are subject to TSA regulations for liquids and gels on board the aircraft, so keep things under three ounces and don't bring anything sharp. You'll have your own cabin bag, like this waiting for you in the overhead bin. You can store things here that you don't want to pack and repack every stop, like souvenirs or outerwear you won't use like a heavy jacket. There are some personal essentials you'll also want to keep in your carry-on bag, such as a month's supply of any prescriptions or supplements that you take regularly. Make sure that they are properly labeled in case you are checked by customs. Your camera or cell phone or both, and chargers for items you might want to charge on the plane. Some other things that are good to have that you will want to pack in your bigger bag are extra contact lenses, eyeglasses, and sunglasses, a personalized medical kit with aspirin or ibuprofen, over-the-counter cold and flu medicines, and any other medicines recommended for the areas you're traveling to, photocopies of your passport, visas, and airline tickets, and at least two extra passport-sized photographs in a separate location from where you carry your actual passport. Extra batteries for your camera. Face wash or soap, aloe or moisturizer, bug spray, and plenty of sunscreen. A great way to pack and organize all of those items is in Ziploc bags of various sizes to keep them separated and protected from moisture and bring a few larger Ziploc bags for times you might have wet or dirty clothes. Remembering that less is more, here are some things you'll want to avoid. Don't bring expensive jewelry. Don't store all your money and travel documents together in one place. Don't pack lithium batteries in your checked luggage. Also, many areas have restrictions against drones, so please don't bring them. Don't bring a wooden walking stick. If you really want trekking poles, we recommend the collapsible ones with rubber tips. They should fit into your larger checked bag. Don't worry about bringing any food or drinks. There will be plenty provided for you along the way. And don't overpack your luggage with no room for gifts you'll bring home. Now we want to share with you a few of our favorite packing hacks. Squeeze some air out of your liquids and gel containers, then tighten the cap. This can help these items from leaking due to pressure changes that occur with air travel. Use up that available space in your shoes. Fill them with small items like belts or socks. There's some debate between rolling and folding your clothes, but my advice is to do both. 
Roll thinner, wrinkle-prone items like shirts and blouses, and fold bulkier items like sweaters and pants. Use a plastic bag to protect your clothes from dirty shoes. Can't find one? Try a hotel shower cap. Store your charging cables and compact headphones in a sunglasses case. It also makes a great, easy to locate container for an on-the-go sun protection kit with a sunscreen stick and lip balm. Place dryer sheets in your suitcase to keep everything smelling fresh. Or toss in some of the great smelling hotel soaps you can collect along the way. A sweet reminder of all of the memories you've made. We already mentioned packing cubes, but it's worth repeating. They're so great for organizing, helping you know exactly where everything is. And they make it easy to pack and unpack by simply moving them directly from your luggage into a hotel dresser and back when it's time to go. On some of our itineraries, there are activities that require a few extra items Gorilla trekking is one of those. Your itinerary includes the forest-covered mountains of Rwanda, where you'll come face to face with a family of mountain gorillas. For this experience, you'll want heavy knit pants, not jeans, a long sleeved shirt, a hat, a pair of gardening or golfing gloves to protect you from nettles and branches. Trails in this region can be muddy, so make sure you have shoes with good tread and thick, knee-high socks and a waterproof bag to protect your electronics. Trekking gaiters will be provided, but some of our guests like to bring their own. We hope this video has been helpful in preparing you for your adventure of a lifetime with TCS World Travel. If you have any questions or concerns about what to bring on your trip, or what not to bring, don't hesitate to get in touch with your guest services manager. Thanks for watching. And thank you for choosing TCS World Travel, making your travel dreams a reality.